can you imagine a world without glass? Probably not, and for good reason. Glass is simply amazing, both chemically and practically. Glass is one of the most versatile materials used historically and today. But it is not until the recent decades that we have found the most innovative uses for glass technology. Hi, my name is Brandon, and today I'd like to invite you as we take a journey through the past and explore the innovations and history in glass manufacturing technology. Silica-based glass is one of the most widely used materials in our world today, but its origins are not clear like its appearance. When it comes to the history of glass, there are many more questions than answers. People have used naturally occurring glass such as obsidian formed by volcanic reactions to make knives, arrowheads, jewelry, and money long before we learned how to make glass. The first man-made glass vessels were made in the Middle East from molds using a technique called core forming, as you can see in the video below. A lot of new evidence has come to light in the past century. For instance, in 1970, historians found hand-blown glass vessels which date back to as early as 50 BC. Many hand-blown vessels have been discovered that date as far back as 1st century Rome. So what is glass? The most familiar and historically the oldest type of manufactured glass is based on the chemical compound silica, the primary constitute of sand. On a molecular level, glass is a transparent amorphous solid, meaning that its chemical structure is arranged in an irregular pattern, as seen in the picture. Glass melts at 1700 degrees Celsius, and some science books describe it as a liquid that has never been set. However, manufacturing high-quality glass is not as easy as melting sand. Essentially, it is neither a complete solid or liquid and has widespread practical, technological, and decorative use in, for example, tableware, housing, appliances, automotives, medical technology, communication technology, renewable energy, art, and more. With all the different and unique uses for glass, it is no wonder why it has been one of the most valuable and widely used manufacturing materials for thousands of years. It is believed that Enyan was one of the first entrepreneurs able to create a competitive advantage through his extensive knowledge of glass manufacturing techniques in the first century. Glass innovation began as a bottom-up process where knowledge was passed through generations of glassmakers. Both historically and today, glass is seen as extremely valuable, given it cannot be substituted by any other material. When Enyan began manufacturing glass, a combination of molding and blowing techniques were used simultaneously, which allowed Enyan to create extremely detailed vessels that were unique and required extensive knowledge to imitate similar yielding results. These hard-to-imitate manufacturing techniques were only mastered through repeated trial and error, like for example the technique of breaking off, which was most certainly developed by Enyan. Enyan was truly ahead of his time when it came to the innovative glass manufacturing techniques he developed, especially considering there were not any glass vessels which come even close to the quality of Enyan's for hundreds of years. Enyan even embossed a trademarked logo on every piece of work he produced. Without a doubt, Enyan was able to create a sustained competitive advantage and was the first to do so with glass manufacturing techniques. Today, glass innovation is a top-down process where leading manufacturers invest in research and development to find new innovative applications and manufacturing techniques for glass. I would argue that today, Glass is even more valuable than it was in history, with its wider range of technical applications. Consider how valuable fiber optic technology is for enabling 5G networks. The difference is that today, glass is not considered rare to the same extent as it was in history. This is because standard manufacturing techniques are widely known and understood. Glass is more abundantly used than in history. As companies find more specialized applications for glass, 
they will need to develop new manufacturing techniques. This R&D process to do so is extremely costly, making new manufacturing techniques more difficult to imitate. Corning is a fine example of a company who has sustained a competitive advantage through their R&D efforts. For example, Corning was the first to manufacture the glass light bulb enclosure and continues to be a leader in mobile phone screens with their Gorilla Glass line. Schott, a German glass company, was actually the first company pr to produce borosilicate glass, which is used in Pyrex and other Corningware products. Corning was easily able to imitate their manufacturing techniques with slight modification. In addition, Corning is also responsible for the radical innovation of fiber optic cables, which transmit 60,000 more times information than standard copper cables. For this reason, I recommend glass manufacturers focus on strengthening organizational policies which will aid research and development. If manufacturers can discover more specialized applications for glass, such as Corning did with their radical innovation of fiber optic cables, it will be more difficult for others to imitate the high costs associated with specialized manufacturing techniques, thus helping sustain a clear competitive advantage. Thank you for watching.